so hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel i am lauren fant and today i am filming a room tour for you guys i've been meaning to do this for a really long time just because i don't like i want to have it to document but also i know i think you guys might like it but i actually am going to be doing a bit of a bedroom makeover today starting today um i am switching rooms in my house um, I live with my parents, so I'm going to be switching rooms in my house to a different room. Most everything will stay the same, but I'm adding some new things. So my room will not look like this. And this is like my prized possession, this bedroom. I All throughout high school, I knew I wanted to redo my bedroom because I wasn't going to be moving out for college. So I saved up all four years of high school, and I redid my whole entire bedroom, painted it, all new furniture, like everything was new because I didn't have I had like my childhood mismatched furniture I didn't have any decor I had like tan brown walls so I just wanted to redo everything and that's what I did and I have loved this room I love it so much it is my happy place and I post about it a lot on my TikTok and everyone seems to love it on there too so it's kind of what I'm known for like with the people in my life and stuff like that so this is my safe place. I love this room, but I am now going to be kind of leveling up in my college career, changing a lot of things in my life. So I just thought it'd be nice to get a fresh start, move to a different room. The bedroom I'm moving into is a bit bigger because it has a smaller closet and more larger windows, so better lighting and things like that. And I just kind of wanted to change. And I'm going to see if I can add like a reading corner because I've been really... Um, getting back into reading and so I'm gonna do that and so yeah I wanted to document this bedroom before I moved everything out so that is what I'm doing today and I'm gonna show you guys and yeah I'm excited So first walking into my room, you're going to see my mirror and my bed, and then I have my dresser, my shelf, and my desk. Here's my closet. I have a bookshelf up here and up here, and then this area, I have like my jewelry and my bags and different stuff. So starting out here, this is actually a painting that one of my best friends made for me because I love the show Gilmore Girls, and it's definitely a favorite of mine. And then I have my jewelry holder. I also keep my keys and my bags on there. And then this hat was actually my grandpa's. And it's a really memorable keepsake for me. So I have it hanging there. And then this is like all my Bibles, my Bible studies, and things like that. And I will just keep some totes on my door. And then here, which you can see me, this is my mirror, um, full length. And then here I have a little sticky note wall that like people in my life have written on. 
and I've drawn some things, got some encouraging notes, different things like that, and I really love that part. And then I have my nightstand, which is hard to see with the light, but I have a lamp and then this sunrise like alarm clock. And then closer, I have these soaps that I found like at TJ Maxx and they're just really cute and I really liked them. I have this candle, which is from Cotton On, I believe. It says, this is my overthinking candle and I'm a chronic overthinker, so that's why I bought it. And then I just keep, this is for my jewelry when I sleep and then my remotes. And I always have books on here and my water. And then if anyone knows me, I'm a very organized and clean person, but I hate putting away laundry right after I've either used it, taken it off, tried it on, whatever it may be. I don't want to put it away immediately. So in order to keep my room like tidy from having clothes everywhere, I got a basket and I literally just put clean clothes in there. And then every once in a while, I'll like clear it out and put everything away. So yeah, that's a lazy hack for all of you if you're like me. And then here we have my bed which I currently have these floral sheets on for like summertime and then I have this pillow from Amazon and this blanket from TJ Maxx which doesn't really match but I keep it on here just because I love it so much um, and then I have this gallery wall which I recently did and you'll see that there's different stuff on it I have a picture that says different ways to say I love you and it has like um, 75 different ways to say that I love you and then that is a espresso maker. It's a coffee maker, and I love coffee, so I liked that a lot. Um, that's a nice quote. Those are some Amsterdam apartments. These are photos of my grandparents, my grandpa's time in Germany when he was in the military, or my grandma riding her horse, and things like that that are really memorable for me. And then I have this sign that says, God is within her, she will not fail. And then this sign I just thought was really cute. I think it means like everything is magic in, f I'm not sure, I think French. <laughs> but I just thought it was really cute and I needed something else so I added that. And then finally, this is a painting that I actually did. It's very simple, very basic, but um, I just was in the mood to paint one day and I painted this and now I put it on my wall. So that is my gallery wall, I guess you'll say. I wanted to add that recently and so I did and I really love it. And then here's my TV area. First of all, I have a Polaroid wall that I've been adding to. Like you can see there's some missing ones up here um, that I'm continuously adding to. And then over here, this is my TBR pile of my books. So those are there and you know, I just put them on the simple like plain side so it doesn't have all the covers. And then I have a diffuser and just a plant there because I never really know what to do with this area. And then I have my TV which is actually a hand-me-down from my grandparents, which is, I love that. Didn't have to buy a TV. And then this is one of my favorite parts of my bedroom. Hopefully you can see the sign. There you go. So this sign my aunt actually gave me for Christmas. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, Jeremiah 2911. And that's definitely something I love. It adds a lot to this corner. I think everything just cohesively goes well together. And then I have this jewelry plate um, with like a little smiley face on it. It's from Cotton On. And then I have this jewelry box that is actually from my grandparents. I think my aunt like was going to take it, but then she ended up giving it to me. I'm not really sure how it all happened, but this is a jewelry box. And I have a photo of my great-grandparents in there. Cause, and then I have jewelry in there that is all sentimental jewelry. So there's like a charm bracelet that was my mom's when she was a kid. A cross necklace that my cousin gave me. A ring that I have with my cousin and like some earrings that my grandpa gave me before he passed. And I really love this area. It's like sentimental, but also really just cute and cohesive. And then to my tiered shelf, which is like, I feel like the highlight of my bedroom. I really love this spot. First of all, I have my favorite and pretty much all my fantasy books up there and a nice plant. And then here I have a photo of me and my cousin, my Polaroid camera and just a plant. And also all these plants, I think pretty much all the plants in my bedroom are from Ikea and all of my furniture is also from Ikea. And then here I have some of my favorite books, I guess. Like these two were two books that got me into reading again. This book I recently read and it was so good, I loved it. And this was like one of my favorites from last summer so I put it up here since it is summer again. And I have one of those coffee makers. This is 
a box of matches that I got in like a small beach town and I just thought it was really cute. And then a plant which I think is actually from like TJ Maxx. And then down here we have my, this is a moon, it's not on, but it's like a moon light. So if it's on, I can tap it and it'll turn on. And then I have this mug that I thrifted. And this is actually my grandparents in their house before they passed. They had a creek in their backyard that we used to play in growing up and stuff like that. So when we had to sell the house after they passed, I took some of the sand and rocks and put it in this little jar. And I have it here now. And then I just have a coffee scented candle. And then here is like a fun book area. These are all like books like... I almost feel like represent me or like are my favorites whatever that may be and there's another overthinking candle from cotton on because that's very fitting for me as well but we start out here with every or stuff every coffee lover should know which is very just fitting for me and then I have an Audrey Hepburn book because I love Audrey Hepburn this book I thrifted and it's just a really cute art book I guess um, about like self-care and stuff and so they just were some really cute art pages in there this book is Lauren Graham's like autobiography or something or biography whatever um, talking as fast as I can and I love Lauren Graham she's one of my favorite actors um, and I love Gilmore Girls and then Diana this is a Princess Diana lookbook and she I love Princess Diana so I also have that and then this book is actually really interesting. Actually, hold on. So this book I have, it's Understanding Mental Illness. And I got that book for actually a research paper in high school. But I kept it because I personally struggle with mental health issues like anxiety and PMDD and different things. So I kept that. But hold on. I'm going to show you guys this book closer up. So this book looks a bit interesting, but it's called Maybe Then I Will Cry by Gary Montgomery. And it's actually, my, so my mom is adopted and she never got to meet her birth parents, but in her adult life, she found out who they were. And so this man, Gary Montgomery, is my mom's birth mom's husband. So like technically my mom's like stepdad, I guess, and that's her birth mom. And when he kind of was going through her life after she passed away, he wrote a book about it and about just, you know, my mom having given up my mom for adoption and things like that. And it's actually dedicated to like me and my siblings and other family members. So that's my mom, that's my sister, my brother, that's me. And then that's another family member. And so it was dedicated to us and he wrote a whole book. And it's very like, it's kind of like really cool because you can buy it on Amazon. So yeah, this is really cool. And so that is up there because it's definitely like one of my top books, very cool book, things like that. All right, and then this is kind of the most pointless shelf of all. Like, it's just a photo of me and my friends, and then this basket of, like, random things I'll throw in there, like, receipts and stuff like that. And then down here I have a little crate, and it has a books in it and different stuff. That is a photo album for my Polaroids, and yeah, it's just kind of random. So moving on to my desk here. I've always kind of struggled with my desk. I change it a lot, but right now I currently have this tray, and it's actually, like... I believe a Van Gogh painting that I got from a store in a beach town. It's really cool, really pretty, and I love it so much. And I just put my skincare on there. And then I have this plate that I actually painted with my friends. And we all have this little stone heart and some jewelry on there. And then this plant from TJ Maxx. I have my makeup brushes in a cute mug. Sorry for the skincare there. And then... I have this, what are these even called? Oh, a reed diffuser, that's what it is. So I have a reed diffuser there. And then moving on to this side, I got an espresso machine for my birthday because I've always wanted one and I am a coffee lover. So I have my espresso machine, my milk frother, and then this turntable that just has like this cute mug. And these I will eventually put syrups in and then this is espresso. Um, and then I just have like a little espresso mug here. And yeah, that's that corner. And then I have my closet, which I don't know if I'll show you much, but I'll show you this side because, I mean, it's a bit messy, but I have this organizer here, which is from Ikea, and I keep some shoes on top, and then I have my clothes, and then a bunch of random stuff up there. But 
This is like an important part of my room because it's my mug collection. I have a mug addiction and I buy way too many and I have way too many and I won't even tell you the number because it's too embarrassing. But I keep all of them in this organizer and yeah, this is my mug collection. I have a lot. <laughs> I think three out of four of these drawers are full of mugs. And I recently actually got rid of a lot because I it was getting bad and I was still wanting to buy um, more mugs. So I knew I had to get rid of some. So I just have a problem because thrifting mugs is really easy and really cheap. And they're honestly the coolest mugs. And yeah, so that is my mug collection. my One of my most prized possessions. But yeah, I mean, I think that's it. That is my room, pretty much everything I've shown you. And also, if you're looking for any of the stuff that's in my bedroom, pretty much everything that's from Amazon will be linked in my Amazon storefront. And most of this stuff is from Amazon. All my furniture, though, is from Ikea, including my mirror. Um, but otherwise, a lot of this is from Amazon or like Target or TJ Maxx, I'd say. So, yeah, if you're looking for anything, you can ask me questions, but also... If you don't want to ask me a question, you can look in those areas, and most of these things are from there. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you like my bedroom, and I just wanted to document this since I am switching rooms, and this is, like, my childhood room, like, my prized possession, my big project that I worked so hard on, um, which, I mean, it'll look pretty much the same in the new room, but it will be different. So I wanted to document this and show you guys because... Ever since I started my channel, I've been wanting to show you guys a room tour because I thought you'd like it and be interested maybe. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do this before we changed everything. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video, which will probably be my bedroom makeover because I'm going to be filming videos for that too. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.